Welcome to today's Farm Life. I'm Doug Cunningham, sitting with Brad Greenway here at the Mitchell Technical College. Uh, first of all, that's hard to say like that after being Mitchell Technical Institute for so many years. Uh, Brad, it just seems like um, every six months I have to interview you because you take on a new position or a new job. Um, uh, first of all, let's explain to the folks what this position is. Well, actually, the, the position is is I'm a board member of the South Dakota Board of Technical Education. And so what that is, is this board of nine oversees the, the four technical colleges uh, in South Dakota, one out in, in Sioux Falls, one in Rapid City, in Watertown, and of course here in Mitchell. And so the board will, will oversee some of that along in kind of a hybrid model with the Board of Education. So they're still under the Board of Education in Mitchell, uh, the K-12 education system. And so uh, this board will oversee some of the policy, finance, any things for the technical colleges. Right now, this, this board actually started, what, four or five years ago, right? Yeah, in 2017, the board was formed. Of course, everybody's heard of the South Dakota Board of Regents. It oversees the, the universities. And it prior to 2017, the technical institutes, and now changed to technical colleges, were overseen by the K-12 Board of Education. And so, like I said, and again, I'm learning on this, Doug. I don't pretend to. I've, I've had a couple couple sessions and trying to get as much information as I can, but it's a hybrid model of, of this board that I set on now and was appointed to and the k-12 board of education here in mitchell okay, now this is a position that uh, <laughs> i know it's hard to believe but you didn't actually go for this this was um uh, unbeknownst to you i mean this kind of all came about without you even knowing it you know, I really did, and I, I feel very honored, honestly. And, and I guess the, the way it happened is, is each technical college, there's nine on the board, five of the members are at large, and, and then the, each technical college submits names uh, that they would like to have on the board, and then the governor picks one of those names and appoint that. And that's how I become about. I was, um, my name was submitted through Mitchell Technical College, and then Governor Nome appointed me to this board. Now, when you, you you told me the story before he went on there, he thought he was going to get in trouble. When the, when he got the phone call that this job was yours, uh, it was actually st what state of South Dakota on your caller ID, and you thought, oh, oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, a lot of times everybody gets those calls on your phone, and they go, okay, do I answer this? And it come from the state of South Dakota, and I figured for sure it was Department of Environment and Natural Resources because that time of the year, and and just maybe a reminder on something there, and and here was the, the governor's office, and and uh, so she gave me a little information about it, and I. I said, can you send me some information over the weekend so I know uh, what I'm looking at here? And so she was very nice and did that. And, and I went through it and then uh, responded back and said I'd be honored, honestly, to, to to be on a board that oversees technical education. I'm very passionate about it. You know, it's been a lot of years since I've been here at Mitchell Tech at that time, 1984. But uh, I'll tell you, I'm very passionate about technical education. And I think that's very evident here the last couple of years of the skilled labor and the technical workforce that we need in this country. And so I'm going to glad excited to be part of it okay now um i'm going to ask you um, what did they obviously they somebody seen something that you could bring to the table um whether it's the agriculture side whether it's just your experience and all the boards that you've been on what did they see in you that they might want you do you know you know, I, I really don't know that. And, I, and again, visiting with Nick uh, Wendell yesterday, he's the executive director for the board. And so they, I think they looked at geological areas. You know, are we spread evenly around the state? Um, I'm sure they looked at probably some background. I mean, agriculture is the number one industry in South Dakota. And so maybe bringing that to the table. And as I look up at the makeup of the board right now, you've got representatives from each health care system. You've got Dana Dykehouse from Premier Bank. You've got uh, somebody. So I think they looked at not only geography, where the area I am, in the state as opposed and, and also along with some agricultural background uh, bringing that to the table okay now um you're you're young on the board uh you haven't really had a, you, uh, your first board meeting is coming up in december um or what do you plan on bringing what would you like to see brought to the table from your from your chair you know, and I, again, it's very early, and you said that our first board meeting is December 8th, and so we're at Southeast Tech, or Southeast College, I should say, and, and again, they spread the meetings. We have about six meetings a year, probably a couple more conference calls. Each one of them will be spread around the state at the difference, so it need to be an opportunity, you know, to go to Watertown and go to Rapid City and, and over in Sioux Falls and be on those campuses of that. 
And as far as bringing to the table, Terry Sabers right now is is, is on the board, and, and, and a lot of people in this area know Terry Sabers, and so I sat down with him and visited. And they're just, you know, this first year, there's just going to be a lot of things that I'm going to have to take from the, from the quality of, of board members that are on there. And so again, listening, trying to work as a board, see what is needed out in the technical as far as graduates and the programs that are out there. And so it's going to be learning here for this first year, but I'll tell you, it looks like some tremendous board members that I'm proud to be part of. Okay. Now I know you're a smart guy. You've been on a lot of boards. You've been poor board you've been pig farmer there you've been all all kinds of crazy stuff um not only do you give but you learn from uh, what are you hoping to learn from being on the board so you can bring back home and maybe implement in the community you know and I, uh, again i had a good meeting with the executive director yesterday just trying to, to give me some background and I, th I think it's 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 amazing when he talks about you know, we've got our university system and a tremendous university system in South Dakota and, and we've got the technical colleges. He said there's still about 30% of high school seniors that graduate that don't do any, you know, further education. And so how can we draw them in? Is it the campus? Is there programs? Is there something out there that we need? So not only visiting with these folks that are, are you know, have businesses and, and those that are on the board and what is needed for skilled labor, but what can we do to draw some of those students into this and so they have got some kind of a degree when they go out and so you know I want to take a look at all that and, all the, and the main thing is too is to make sure that it's affordable I mean how can we keep and, and again learning from him yesterday technical college or technical education in South Dakota is higher priced than our surrounding states and so what can we do to, to keep the cost down so that we can have graduating seniors come in and get a skilled job and go out and make tremendous money in, in an area that they're passionate about. Well, I tell you what, um, for anybody that I know, I think um, commitment to their community and giving back, you got to be at the top of the list. you got to be at the top of the list because every time we, every time I turn around, you're on a different board, you're on a different, you, you have a different cause, you have a different hat on, you have a different, every time I talk to you, I think, um, congrats on giving back and, and all the years of giving back. Well, Doug, I appreciate that, and I think back and when I come to Mitchell Tech in, in 1982 and graduated in 84, you know, that was tough times in agriculture, and, and honestly, them two years that I spent here and the instructors I had at, at Mitchell, Mitchell Technical Institute at that time, I mean, that truly changed my life, and, it, and, and there's a couple, and I won't mention any names because there was a number of them that played a role in that, but there was a couple of them that says, you know, don't ever cut your cell yourself short. You can do whatever you want to, and I think it's that, you know, maybe the confidence, and so I do. I have a lot of connections to this place that we're setting in right now obviously it was a different campus but at the same time there's a lot of kids out there that you know can benefit from this and, and uh, I truly am I love this community and, and Mitchell Tech did a lot of things for me and I just would love to get back however I can I tell you what one of these days we're gonna have a sit down talk and we're gonna talk about your retirement and your what you did when you were younger but, but uh, remember uh, that, that's gonna wrap it up we better get going but uh, that's gonna wrap it up uh, remember feel good about what you do today because what you do today is very important so for Brad I'm Doug Cunningham here at today's farm life